This is EA Sports College Football 25. Playing College Football 25 makes you feel like you are a college football player, except without the college, assignment due dates, hangovers, one night stands, pregnancy scares, or athleticism in most of our cases. EA Sports College Football 25 was developed by EA Orlando and published by EA Sports. For the story, unless you want to follow the story of a pig that got turned into a football that players play with, there was a pig. He got his skin ripped off, made into a football, and now large sweaty men throw it to each other and slam each other on the ground for it. Outside of that, there is no story. College Football 25 is only available on Xbox Series X slash S and PlayStation 5. Now, here are the menu settings. There is cross-play between the two platforms. College Football 25 does something amazingly well, and it's the pre-game presentations. They have specific things that each college football team does pre-game at home. Whether it's the Iowa Hawkeyes waving to the Children's Hospital after the first quarter, to the Buffalo from Colorado running down the field. Say what you will about the game itself, but presentation-wise it is a huge step up from Madden prior NCAA games. When it comes to the music, however, this game is horrible. There is no licensed music in the main menus of the game, so you will be stuck hearing a loop of these drums. Every time you're in the menus. Hearing it for the first time was pretty cool, I will say. But my god, it is horrible hearing it played back like it's on a 10 hour loop. What they should have did is just use the different school's fight songs. It would have allowed them to have many more songs, help keep the college atmosphere, and probably not have cost them really anything at all. Considering most of these songs are already in the game anyways. The gameplay flow is as follows. If you've ever seen a football game, you already know it. It's just a game of football. And if you want to know what a football game is, just sit down on a Saturday and watch a game. In terms of specific game modes, however, the game flow could change. In Dynasty mode, you will play a game, recruit some fresh meat, play a game, rinse and repeat. In Ultimate Team, you will do a bunch of challenges, open packs because you know every game needs to have packs and bundles like we're going camping. You can also buy players, play online, or just say screw it, pay and buy your team. In Road to Glory, you will practice, choose from your weekly agenda, then play your weekly game all for the purpose of obtaining the glory that you are on this road for. We'll get more into the game modes here in a little bit though. And here's usually the point where we go through each of the actions you could perform in this game. It's a football game, so literally just look at any of the previous 200 games to know what you can do. Just like spin moves, stiff arms, hurdles, etc. It's not like they're going to be new mechanics, but if there was, I suggest being able to fight your opponents on the field. This would really shake up the gameplay. I will however talk about some of the new features that separates it from Madden and the past NCAA games. The throwing system is the first to come to mind. This system has two parts to it, placement and throwing meter. The meter makes it so that the longer the throw button is held down, the further the meter moves and the harder your quarterback will throw the ball. In addition to that, the meter has three sections. Stopping in the blue means that a safe and accurate pass should be thrown. Stopping in the yellow means that it should be a mostly accurate pass, but there is a small chance for some inaccuracy. Stopping in the red means the greatest chance for an inaccurate pass. For ball placement, it depends what position the left stick is in when you are throwing the ball. This section has been in football video games for years, but it does seem to work a lot more this year in my opinion. Next, home field advantage means a lot more now in college football. When playing at tough, loud home crowds, it will cause some things to occur, such as the screen shaking or the team on the road to lose their passing icons during the play. I enjoyed playing in tough stadiums and having many thousands of pixelated football fans wishing bad things to happen to myself and my team. The immersion was real. Now you can confuse opposing offenses as well by disguising your defensive coverages, known as shell. Have your defense give one look defensively, then fall into a completely different coverage just as the play is starting. Players also have abilities, similar to badges in the NBA 2K series. There are four levels to each ability, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Some abilities are mobile deadeye, which increases your QB's accuracy while on the run. There's armbar, which isn't MMA, but helps break tackles using stiff arms and 360, which increases your chances to fake out a defender using a spin move. These are different from X-Factors and Madden, as these are equipped all the time, and aren't just equipped whenever a certain requirement is met in a game. There's way more abilities, and I could probably honestly make an entire separate video on that alone. So unfortunately though, this is all you're gonna get. On to the game modes. The staple of college football games is Dynasty Mode, and it is of course in this game. Here, you could take whatever school you want, and bring them to relevancy. For me, I took UB because they're an absolute dumpster fire covered in flammable monkey piss. When you start Dynasty mode, you can play it single player or online with some friends. This in itself is a huge plus for the game. Some sports games, looking at you NHL, don't even have an online franchise, so it's nice to see it here. You have so much customization here, you can realign conferences. So now we can put UB in a conference where it can actually win. 
you have your dynasty settings, which consist of injuries, wear and tear, XP settings, etc. And if you're playing online, you can even create your own team and import them into the game. It's cool that they brought this back this year, but it sucks that you can't just create the team on the game, but have to do it on a computer. Moving along, you could then choose to be the head coach, offensive coordinator, or defensive coordinator. There are three types of coaches. You could be a motivator, which could maximize your team's development. There's recruiter, which, you guessed it, helps with recruiting. Then there's tactician, which helps with your team's on-the-field performance in games. There are skills associated with each type of coach, which you can earn and level up by leveling up your coach. Once you select which role you'd like to play, you could go into your dynasty mode and start the biggest thing that you'll do, which is recruiting. Each week, you are given a set amount of hours that you can use to help influence recruits to come to your school. These can range from searching their social media, sliding into their DMs, talking with their family and friends, showing just how much you want them by sending the house, or scheduling a visit when you can, etc. This mode is so fun, and the first night I had this game, I probably played 3 or 4 hours straight of it. If you enjoyed the dynasty mode of previous college games, you'll love this one too. For the next game mode, there are mini games. These mini games are fun if you don't have a lot of time or you want to work on a certain part of your game. For me, I played the passing skeleton, which is trying to throw as many passing touchdowns as you can and rushing attack a lot, which is scoring as many rushing touchdowns as you can. There were a few problems that I had with these games, however. While playing the passing skeleton, I noticed that there were times that my receiver would catch the ball, but the game said he didn't. And for the passing mini games with the targets in them, it was a bit difficult for me to hit them. Now, I know I suck and it was probably a skill issue, but the targets just seemed like they were further away from where they were placed. It was weird, but I did have a good time playing the mini games. Road to Glory makes its return into college football 25. Instead of playing through the high school playoffs like in past Road to Glory modes, here you can pick your star rating, answer a few questions, then you're able to choose what team you want to go to. I tried a two star rating quarterback and the whole first season was me just simulating it, so I don't really recommend that unless you don't want to play the game. In that case, why'd you even spend the money for it? During each week of the season, you typically have some random text messages that says some nonsense that you could do. These use up your energy points and you only have so many each week. Not even a Red Bull can give you more. You have to make sure to balance out your academics, leadership, health, training, and your brand. All of these come with pros on why you want to max these out, so be sure to choose wisely. Outside of these are coach trust points. These are what determine if you move up or down in the depth chart. Once you have enough coach trust over the person ahead of you on the depth chart, it will trigger a position battle. Position battles are just three mini games where you have to beat a certain score, win two out of three, and you'll move up the depth chart. Coach trust points also give rewards, but to be honest, I have no idea what the rewards do, and they don't really say anything about them in the game. Second to last, we have Road to the College Football Playoffs. This is your ranked head-to-head -head games where you play as the actual college teams. You play 10 games each season in an attempt to reach the college football playoffs. As you win games, it will increase your rank, depending on which tier of team you used and which tier of team you played. Playing as a lower tier team and beating a higher tier team earn you much more rank than being a high tier team and defeating a lower tier team. Get high enough rank and play in a single elimination bracket for a chance at a national championship trophy against players with your similar skill. I will say though, this does seem like a cool take on the traditional ranked head to head system. And of course, finally, we have Ultimate Team. If you played Madden Ultimate Team, it's very similar to that. If you haven't, I'll explain it very quickly. You can earn currency by playing games or just by buying them. You could then use that currency, whether paid for with real money or not, to get players, either through buying packs or buying players through the auction house. You then use those players to create a team and take them to play other teams online or play against the computer. This game mode is extremely pay to win, but we will get more to that in a little bit. EA Sports College Football has co-op ultimate team challenges as well as co-op 3v3. Outside of that, this game is 1v1 online whether through Ultimate Team, Dynasty, or Road to the Playoffs. You can join other players through in-game invites or matchmaking. In College Football 25, and well, football games in general, there's a whole lot of potential for griefing. You could take the ball and run backwards, celebrating along the way. You could run the play clock down on every play, calling timeouts as well as pausing the game and waiting for the full timer. You could spike the ball into the ground, keeping more time from ticking off the clock. It's extremely obnoxious for other players when someone else makes the game last twice as long as it should be. There is in-game voice chat as well, but no text chat. If you're playing head-to-head, -head, you'll hear your opponent, and you can talk shit to them if you're winning or losing. If you are playing 3v3, you will hear your teammates and also can talk shit to them. EA Sports is of course a money-hungry giant, 
so they had to bring pay to win to college football 25. Like a greedy capitalist rat, crawling through golden crusted sewers that has an aura which siphons the life, joy, and money out of everything it comes across. Those who play Ultimate Team know exactly what I'm talking about. You could sit there and grind solo challenges and online play for hours. Or you could just spend your hard earned money on virtual cards that will become basically useless in a month when they release better cards. And if they aren't by then, they definitely will be by next year's game. Being once again that this is an EA game and not having released a college game in 11 years means that they clearly did not have enough time to polish the game up. You will see unranked teams make the college football playoffs. Sam Houston State beating Sam Houston State by a score that you literally cannot win in overtime. And those are just off the top of my head. They may have patched or will patch some issues, but maybe if they had another 11 years, they could have released a polished game. College Football 25 is a breath of fresh air after not having a college football game for 11 years until the toxic fumes coming off the pay to win system make their way into your lungs and give you tuberculosis and you die a slow, painful death like Arthur Morgan. Aside from that, it offers things to do that just don't exist in Madden. The dynasty mode is enjoyable and the presentation is done very well. The big problem with the game is that the gameplay just wasn't enjoyable to me. The tackling just felt weird, glitches would happen, etc. And please, for God's sake, no more of this drum music. EA. Please bring back a playlist or at least the school's fight songs. I can't handle the drums anymore. On our patented 0 to 1 scale, we rate this game a 0.63 out of 1, mostly because the biggest part of the game, aka the gameplay, wasn't very good. If it wasn't for Dynasty Mode and the presentation, this game would have been rated much lower. Still better than Madden, however. If you liked this no bullshit review of College Football 25, please throw that cursor to the sub button, hit stick that like button, and be sure to tell us your favorite college football experience. Thank you, good night. And like Confucius said, thou who smelt it, dealt it.